Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. I'm here with Narnia, uh, Narnia Joy to do um, Theme Thursday and this week's Theme Thursday is Space or Bits of Blue. So I've got um, Narnia as I say and she is wearing a vintage, um, oh, you might hear my tummy rumbling sorry. <laughs> um, she is wearing a vintage Sarah Louise and I thought this was pretty apt because um, not only is it white with little touches of blue everywhere and really pretty embroidery. Uh, in fact, it's, it's got really nice embroidery and a beautiful full skirt. Really nice. Um, but also, um, my friend uh, Chris from Chris's... Chris's Cuddles, isn't it, Chris? Um, your, your channel. Um, she likes Sarah Louise dresses. Uh, I noticed that she was mentioning it on her, her Facebook page the other day. So I thought that um, she would like to see um, Narnia in this lovely um, Sarah Louise dress that I bought second hand off eBay uh, several years back now, uh, long before I had Narnia. Um, it's just been in the cupboard. When I didn't have a baby that was big enough for it, I just left it there because you, you know, quite often you do, don't you, end up with a baby. Um, the only size I've never really had, and I'd really like, is one that will fit three to six uh, months. You know, like a 24-inch, or six, not so much six to nine, but around six months, to say. Uh, a 24-inch scope, so it'd be a bit bigger than her, and maybe with nice chunky legs. And, you know, um, open-eyed, it's going to look at you. And um, just be that in-between baby, between the little ones that I've got and the toddlers and then the child that I've got. Um, but I think that um, Narnia looks really lovely in this. She does have three-quarter arms, so there is a slight um, thing. I've left her vest on to cover the three-quarters, and it's just coming down if you don't tuck it up. It's just coming down because it's not a sleeve, it's like a cap sleeve. Um, but it's really pretty and even on the end of the sleeve the sleeve goes up in a very slight arch as it goes around the arm and there's a little blue rose there so it's really nice and then you've got to, like a sort of a geometric type pattern isn't it across there and the little roses and then the blue and white with a smock in with little roses and this um, sort of uh, what would you call that like a wave isn't it across the bottom there and it looks really nice and she's got a little trusty socks from next <laughs> i got to top up their socks soon because they're getting a bit old now. i uh, go and buy a couple of packs, I think. And then um, that's her. Then she does have blue pants on as well. Um, but they're not... Oh, sorry, sweetie. She's a gorgeous petticoat with this look that makes it stand all up. But I did find these in the drawer. Um, but they don't really fit very well because with this body she's got on, it makes her hips really wide because she's got an extra piece there. Um, this is the official body for the... Um, uh, Ariella that um, Reva Schick, you know, come, used to come with a kit. Years ago, they used to come with a kit. You got the Ariella or the Noah or whatever you bought, and you get the body came free with it, or you know, you're paying for it, aren't you? But now, I notice that you've got to buy the kits, the, the kit, and you've got to buy the body separately, and it's like another eleven pound on top. Um, so there you go, says Narnia, looking absolutely adorable. Um. It's absolutely pouring down outside now. It's, what is it, 10 past 8 in the morning. And I got restless legs. Well, it's in my, like, right foot and ankle. So I needed to, like, wander around and do something. So I thought, the sun is out. I'll go and do my video. And uh, I could see dark clouds, like, at the other side of the flat coming over. And now it's absolutely pouring down. But luckily enough, I think the light is okay still at the moment. Just a few shadows, as I always get in the winter time in this bedroom. But it's not too bad. So we'll move on now to the next baby. Next up is Reuben James, my Noah. So he's an, another Reva Schick baby. And he is wearing uh, a white baby grove that I got from... It's a next baby grove, but I got it from an ex high street um um boutique or shop or whatever you want to call it on ebay um so it, and it's really lovely it's got a white background and it needs freshening up actually i was looking at it and thinking it needs freshening up with some vanish and then he's got he's almost into space isn't he because he's got clouds so he's got the white and he's got little bits of blue in the clouds and navy 
brown, one random brown one, and a light blue, and then hello, embroidered in navy. It's really sweet. And he's got a little curl on top of his head this week. Because <laughs> I did his hair the other day. Um, I didn't brush it again just now because it looked um, reasonable. And I thought, oh, I don't want to brush out his little curl and I have to brush it back in. But he's uh, got the gorgeous little like kiss curl on the top of the head. What do you call it? Is it a roll or something we used to call it? Um, I don't think they even do anything like that anymore, do they? But uh, I mean, a lot of the time I used to do it with my babies and it would be more for fun than anything else when they just had a bath. But it is cute, isn't it? I do like it. So um, he's... Uh, I say he's Reva Schick. He's another one of my Reva Schick family. So um, he's a special. This was my first ever custom order. Um, I've only got two pre-made babies. Um, and he was a custom order. And then the second one, Nydia, um, Suzanne had already made. And then she put her up for sale and then I bought her. So um, I've got it, done it both ways. Um, so, um, yeah, so he wasn't too bad. I waited from June beginning of June till end of October for him when he was done which going by the creators the artist that, that made him her track record was was pretty speedy actually <laughs> oh, but he does look very very cute so I'm just going to pop him up there now with his sister and um, get another baby up next up is Ethan Michael I picked him up in his blanket and laid him down and he I thought I've got to show you how cute he looks just peeking out on us doesn't he look adorable wrapped up in his little blanket um even though it's um you know he's, he's nicely heading towards April now but it is bit, has been a bit chilly this week and it's a bit chilly this morning and um, so um most of the babies when they're like in their civvies if you like <laughs> and they each one's usually got a blanket that they're either wrapped in or they're because when, when they um, like put it aside, it keeps the dust off and it looks cute and they look like little snuggly babies and I like it so uh, you know uh, I just like to do it um, but he looks really sweet he's wearing a baby grow that I think I got from um, Matalan I think the it had a stripy one that goes with it I think yes I'm sure that's what it is and the hat I've had for a long time it's just a normal um, you know little blue hat with a knot top little knot at the top and he's um, sort of in space as well he's, he's covered for both because he's got white with the blue looking really sweet and then he's also got clouds and stars and moons and it says there dream big <laughs> oh bless but it's really really nice isn't it it's got little uh little uh oh, i thought it was a hole in the seam then but it's not it's just where it's folded <laughs> so oh what's that and then he's got, to, yeah, dream big. I think that's it. You can see some words, but I think they all say dream big. Bless him. He'd have to dream bigger, wouldn't he? He couldn't really dream much smaller, could he? He's only little. I think he's 19 inches, but um, he's got um, really nicely bent legs, which are great. I love them. And um, when you pick him up, he just cuddles up in your arms, um, you know, like starts to, to go like that ball shape. It feels really lovely. And he's just got his normal soft fleecy blanket that uh, he's always either got over him or he's wrapped in. Bless him. So let's uh, keep on going while we're on a roll, shall we? <laughs> Get another baby out. And next up is Tristan. And he is looking just adorable in baby blue and white. He's got his blanket. Um, both him and Scarlet got one each that uh, I bought when I made them. And his is blue with stars little little dimply stars and hers is um pink with just the dots i think um and then he's got his blue touch of blue with his comforter elephant comforter and then he's got his blue hat which is the next hat i can tell by the mile and then his baby grow is also from next and it's a white background and it's got little bee uh, little bit i can see the bee there little bears all over it with balloons uh, like I said, oh, he's got a honey pot. Like I said, they're having a bit of a teddy bear's picnic, really, isn't it? And he's got touches of blue, but he's also got space because he's got stars. So you've got some blue teddy bears, blue balloon. Um, it's all pretty um, cute, actually. Really, really cute. I like this one that just sits there, look. 
really really sweet oh bless him so that's um tristan short but sweet one minute 15 seconds bless him that's all he got that's all the air time you got mate today <laughs> i'm sure you don't mind um so who's next oh i know um little peanut owen roy there he is the dinkiest little tiniest r2d2 <laughs> Uh, I st still see this um, little baby girl. There's a hat to go with it, but it's a funny sort of shaped hat. So I put this one with it and tried to pick it out to the nearest this blue. Um, but he does it really sweet. Um, we bought this a long time ago. We went to Mother Care for a browse. Um, hubby took me, and this was there, and I bought it for. Um, oh, it wasn't for. It wasn't for. Um, What's his name? Ruben. It was a, a Noah that I had before that. And um, it, I've kept it ever since because it's just so cute. And I do like Star Wars. <laughs> it has the sweetest face, this girl. But it has a little face. You know, it, it's got a little face and little arms and hands. L uh, chunky legs. Um, what is it that Joy says? My friend Joy from P.E. and the Divinals. I think she calls them turkey drummer legs or something like that on this kit. Because it really does have chunky legs. <laughs> but it's really, really sweet. So obviously, um, Owen Roy, uh, also known as Little Peanut, is um, rocking the space theme today. And I think it suits him. I think he looks cute as a little round uh, R2-D2. <laughs> Bless him. And there is uh, Scarlet, Scarlet Olivia, and um, which is Tristan's little sister. <laughs> and she has on a lovely baby grow, and um, she's just uh, she's just in there for the touches of blue. Um, the red stands out more when you look at it because it's a, such a stronger colour. But it has this lovely, like a very dark Air Force blue in the embroidery, and I really like that colour. It does work quite well with the red as well. It's lovely. Just an ordinary little hat off eBay. You know, as I always say, I've got a few of these in, in cream and white that all the babies share. And then she on this part, she's got the lovely little um, red flowers and little blue flowers, little blue leaves, little blue stems. It's really lovely. And I got this from um, M & Co. Uh, before we had any COVID in the um, sale. I think it was four pound or something like that but it's lovely it's really nice i like this it breaks it up a bit and gives a little bit of design and um you got the pretty um floral pattern on the bottom and then just the accent on the bodice it's really nice lovely soft velvet so it always looks really cuddly in it it was at the bottom of a drawer i've been trying i haven't turned their drawers over for ages which may sound strange but every now and again i'll go in and i'll turn the piles around a bit so that you not the same things are on the top all the time but i hadn't done it lately um with one thing and another that's been uh, got you know we've been busier and uh trying to well just trying to cope as well <laughs> oh before i forget um i am starting to feel the benefit of my iron infusion now so i'm still having restless legs i've got them at the minute um but it is a lot more uh, a lot less rather intense when it does happen and it's happening a little bit less often but this is only like the the end of the first week they say to allow two weeks for it to start to um kick in but i am feeling a slight difference already but it will make the next week um you know easier to tolerate and i am starting to get some sleep it might still be like not a full night and like three or four hours and then you're up until the morning and then you got my drop off early in the morning for another two or three hours but i am getting some more sleep before i was lucky to get two hours a night um which is awful but um I, it is a lot better now thank thank you to everyone um and just to let you know <laughs> so because you've all been so supportive um you know with uh, what's been going on and, and uh, you know i've spoken about it because obviously you know, you want to chat with your friends, you know, you're stuck in with COVID, you're, you're on, you know, lockdown, there's you and hubby and the dog, you know, and hubby's not very well either, so he's not doing, you know, the most exciting of conversations or, you know, anyone to chat to, and you, you're looking for, uh, you know, someone to chat to, aren't you, and, and just share your day with sometimes, um, and it's nice to share with your friends, isn't it, rather than family as well, it's a bit different, 
so uh yes yeah, so it's, it's always nice to uh, chat and catch up and uh you know have a little gossip <laughs> coffee and imaginary coffee and a gossip isn't it yeah <laughs> um well, and as you can imagine i'd have no problem with that chatting through a few hours uh <laughs> video so there you go say scarlet and next up should be lydia now there she is <laughs> my little princess and now i've got to do the my little uh, limbo around the handle of the tripod there we're done <laughs> i pressed the button i don't know why i pressed the button before i got to the right side of the tripod um just got her out of her basket and uh, she's all up and ready she's got um this gorgeous um baby grow that i got from the next clearance i got this one and a <clears throat> excuse me navy one with white dots on for however much it was i've forgotten <laughs> it wasn't a lot <laughs> seven pound maybe something like that i can't remember but it wasn't a lot but um she does it really really sweet in this um I did put this baby grow on scarlet and I didn't like the zip it seemed to to stick up but it doesn't do it so much on her so maybe I have to put them in her drawer um because it looks really nice on but she's like a slightly more delicate build as well so it, things do look different on different babies don't they each one's got its own style like a real person um a scarlet is a little bit more uh, chunkier than um, Lydia. Lydia is a delicate, like a proper little newborn. Um, <laughs> I was thinking actually how good this sculpting is in this one, especially like recently with my great grandson being born, because you see him in pictures, and then it sort of makes you think about um, the dolls. And you like with Lydia, I thought about Lydia, and I thought it's marvelous, really, how well she's captured a newborn baby with this sculpt with the you know just the build and the proportions and you know the facial features everything it's a, a really lovely sculpt so i can see this is my first laurel lee eagles um that, that i've ever had and um that i can see i think anyway i'm sure um i've been collecting since 2007 so it's been a long time but I, this is my first laurel lee eagles I, i'm convinced and um, I can see now why people like them so much because um, the attention to detail and, and just the whole thing, that it's just lovely, really lovely. So she has on her baby grow a little, a little blue mouse, which is absolutely adorable. A bunny with huge ears and he's cutie too. And a little hedgehog over there. And there's a little bird down there. Little flowers. Lots and lots of cute little blue things everywhere. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> she looks really cute in it. And always she's got her blanket. And uh, <clears throat> she looks lovely today. It's nice the light is getting better. Um, you can, I can, <laughs> it sounds funny, but when the light is dull in the winter, and of course, you know, like, as you get older, your eyesight's not as sharp as it was. And I do need new glasses. I have done for the, you know, for a while now. And then you look at them, then you get them in a good light, and you think, oh, how come I did not see that dust? You know, and I'm like, under the eyes, under there, he, it was on some on Rubin the other day, both sides, and I thought, how did I not see that dust? Why am I seeing it all of a sudden? And it's just, the light is better, isn't it? <laughs> oh, the babies are actually looking really cute. Um, I've, been put, uh, I've put Scarlet back in her crib, because it's in the bedroom here. And I've put um, Peanut back in the, uh, in my Silver Cross Dolls pram because that's in the bedroom here as well. And the other babies are on the bed accumulating, ready to be put away. Now they've had their little uh, film. And they're sat up there with Ava, look. And Ava is looking really lovely uh, in a new outfit, um, ready for the summer. But I'll show you her properly in a little bit. But there's the babies, they're all bunched together. <laughs> looking really sweet because they've all had their turn and uh, she won't join them now I've got to go in the craft room and get um, uh, oh what they called oh my brain this morning um, Chase, Tegan's Chase my granddaughter Tegan's Chase and Seren they're both sat on a bean bag in there um, next to the pram so um, I'll be popping Lydia back and go and get um, those two now and there they are, <laughs> bless them. This is 
seven uh, on the right and my granddaughter Tegan's toddler that she made and she's 10 in fact she's 11 on Tuesday Tegan is on the 16th and um, she made him and um, she adores him <laughs> um, I'm thinking of um, I want to do him an overhaul for him soon I want to root him and I'm thinking of touching up some of the paint for her and, and getting him a new body and giving him like a spruce up ready for when she comes over and I mean the way it's going with Covid and everything I'm assuming it's going to be more like either ha the not Easter holidays but the half term after that or otherwise the summer before it was going to be any way that she can come over and stay so I've got a little bit of time but it'd be nice to get him done for her wouldn't it he looked really cute but uh, he has touches of blue because we're talking about him we might as well start there he has his little neutral hat on with the ears <laughs> that he always wears usually now and then he's got a white t-shirt on with touches of blue in the boats it's like a watercolour I got this from Next last summer and um, him and um, Tristan, not Tristan, Jameson should have one each I'm sure we bought them one each but I couldn't find Jameson's so I don't know where that's gone um, I looked through all his drawer, but I couldn't find it. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm I'm sure that we bought one each for them, but maybe we didn't. And it's just my, you know, my, my memories playing tricks on me. And then he has little blue joggers and little white socks. So he looks really cute. And then Seren has a white t-shirt and um, pink um, leggings and white socks. And little white, uh, little white, little pink slides in her hair. And on the front of her t-shirt, she's got the words, pretty little flower. And she's got pretty and little, it's just printed on. And then she's got some, like, class kids and type roses there. And then flower is a mixture of blue, pink and white. Um, so she's got her bits of blue in there. And it's really pretty, I like that t-shirt. Um, that one I got from tiny angels boutique when it was open um but it looks really sweet on her i like that she looks nice in pink with her brown chestnut brown hair uh, in the summer you get a nice reddish chestnuty shine on it it's lovely so there you go there's two those little toddlers <laughs> oh bless them there they are looking adorable <laughs> um let's see where should we start jameson has um a white with blue sort of dot effect t-shirt and it's like almost like watercolor it's like little watercolor dots and that's from next i got no it wasn't telefib it's from um george asda i bought them oh months ago now he's not really worn any of them yet it's more thinking of the summer but it's got this lovely little sort of um dotty pattern which is really cool looks like a mixture of either easter eggs or fingerprints doesn't it and then he's got grey tracksuit bottoms on and little blue um, socks that have got teddy bears on the toes, which is really cute. And he's got his comforter I made for him, which has got the grey dimple on the back. And then it's got like an off-white with little giraffes dotted around and little dots. Uh, it sounds like Hubby's starting the dishes. That would be the first time since before Christmas. I bet he was just putting them tidy because <laughs> I was too tired after tea yesterday and my back was really hurting. So I left the dishes till this morning. Um, no one's going to see him. Nobody will know. Only all of you and me. <laughs> and then Abby has got on a white headband, white cardigan um, and like a cornflower blue top uh, underneath for a hint of blue. And then grey leggings, just lighter than Jameson's, and little white socks. And she's got hers. Comforter is um, in the off, all that colour all over the off white with the little giraffe and the little polka dots. So um, they're looking really cool. <laughs> I actually had trouble with these. The um, doing all of it was easy. Um, even sewing the face, but you know when you stuff the head. And then getting the shape, like the nose could have come out a bit more somehow. And I don't know if it's me or if it's the pattern. Um, uh, or my sewing. <laughs> and then when you stuff the head, it looks okay. But then after you've sewn it on, it seems to um, like loosen up. You'll be more loose than, than you thought it was going to be. And less stuffed. So I don't know. 
and but the rest of it is easy it's an easy pattern to do you can find it on um etsy um and it's one of those patterns where you you buy it you download it and then you print it off whenever you want so it's really really cute and it makes a nice size comforter really lovely so i just need to work out um to face do the face a bit better and um the sewing around there when you've run it all up in the machine and then you've got to sit for ages trying to sew the head round neck onto a flat um you know the flat thing underneath is a bit uh, fiddly in my hand sewing's not the best these days <laughs> if the eyesight and the uh, agility in the hand is not as good as it was but for these two it's fine i wouldn't um think it was probably take the bash in a real baby would give it but for these two just for props they're absolutely fine but i thought they're really cute and i thought i'd make them one each and it'd be a change um i'm just in that mood at the moment where i want to make some things um you know like for the babies and around the place and everything i get like it every now and again but i have spasms anyway because you can't keep doing the same thing all the time can you sometimes i'll be like oh i'll be all about paper crafts for a couple of months and then i'll be all about crochet and knitting for a couple of months and then i'll be all about um you know the sewing for a few months that usually lasts longer minus sewing because uh, i do enjoy that and you can do so many useful things but um you know I, I do enjoy all my hobbies um but i do have these spasms you know where i swap from one to another for a little while but i enjoy that and it saves me getting bored and um it's, it's really good fun so there you go so there's um the little dynamic duo <laughs> Uh, everyone's favourite duo, aren't they? Really, of um, I was, why was I going to call her um, Archie then? Huh, how weird. Um, Abby and Jameson. <laughs> so there you go. It's Abby and Jameson. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> and there's my big girl. <laughs> I was just looking at her then as I spoke, and you could almost do touches of blue with her blue eyes, couldn't you? And she is wearing a lovely outfit that is for the summer, really. Um, I really like this. When I was young, I would have worn something similar to this uh, with no problem at all. But she's got, um, she's sort of a little bit in for space and a little bit in for touches of blue. And you're probably wondering where. <laughs> but she's just in there, like I said at the start. And she's got this gorgeous skirt. Look at that. It is um, all embroidery on glaze. It's like a peasant style. And it's got like a petticoat underneath, it's lined. It's really lovely it is and i got that for four pound and she takes five to six years so it's quite you know quite a big size um in the next clearance and i really liked it and i thought oh i really want a white top to go with that and i knew i'd seen the top that she's got on um they've got a few like this different colors and it's got all white and then it's got this lovely um embroidery on glaze trim on the sleeve so i thought that would make a perfect uh, outfit with this skirt and then she's got let's go back down again not to make you uh, dizzy but she's got a little pumps on and they bought i bought them last year in the um neck in a you know next clearance for about four pounds i think let's scan back up and over on her lip uh well right as we're looking at her she's got a blue bracelet um that is actually mine um <laughs> It was a gift, and when it came, it's small, and I need to make it a little bit bigger. And then um, she's got my, she's borrowing my necklace as well today. And on the necklace, she uh, fits in for space because it's stars. Got three stars on there, isn't that lovely? Really pretty. And then I don't know if you can see her earrings. I'll check in the camera because I'm very good at uh, showing things, and they're off screen. <laughs> oh yeah, you should be able to see. But on her ears, she's got this lovely aqua or turquo turquoisey blue earrings to match her outfit. So she's she's in there and she with touches of blue and um, stars for space. So um, she looks lovely. But I really like this on her. Um, she's making me feel cold at the moment. Even though I've got a t-shirt on, she looks so summery. She, and it's you know not a summery day like that. But it is lovely. I do like it on her. Gorgeous. So there you go. So there's our theme Thursday. And we've gone through all the babies. I always have this awful feeling that one of them will be in a chair somewhere or laying on the changing mat. And I've completely bypassed them because it has been known. 
<laughs> even with like favorites because you've got so many to go through and you're busy talking and concentrating that you miss them but i think that's definitely all of them um all my 11 babies and tegan's one uh, all joined together for theme thursday so i hope you have a lovely day everyone um i'm going to go and upload this onto my laptop and in the next hour my sainsbury shopping should be arriving and um so i'll be putting that away and being busy and then i should be off doing whatever the same as everyone else for the rest of the day so bye for now everyone take care look after yourselves and each other bye bye bye